Pursuing a regular and achieving a higher income from investment products is still a top priority for many investors in Asia. We are delighted to have Jeff and John sharing with us their key considerations of achieving high and stable income through diversification. Hi Jeff, can you share with us why multi-asset approach matters in managing volatility while enhancing risk-adjusted return? Yeah, it really starts with diversification um, within fixed income, uh, developed market high yield and investment grade, um, emerging market debt um, within equities, um, certainly common equities, but preferreds, REITs and in fixed income, you necessarily need to take more risk to garner more income. But on the equity side, typically higher dividend yielding equities tend to be lower volatility. Um, as we collect the option premium, it acts as a buffer on the downside. Um, further, uh, both writing puts and uh, selling calls provide some stability of income. If the market were to rise, it tends to lower the call premium that we collect, but we are able to collect all of the put premium and vice versa. If the market falls, um, it eats into the put premium that we collect, but we're able to capture all of the call premium. Thank you, Jeff. Can you share what are the possible approaches for investment professionals if in an environment with elevated valuations and limited near-term upside? In an environment where we thought upside was limited, we could actually reduce the strikes in the calls, uh, move them more at the money. Um, this would um, improve the premium that we collect over time, but again, give up more of the upside. Um, we can also shift out of the equities and the upside associated with equities into either the option strategy, which limits the upside, or into something like high yield, which has a more limited upside, but better downside protection than, than equities. Um, and then uh, focusing more specifically on the downside risk, we could also either suspend selling the puts or um, in some cases, we might wanna buy back lower strike puts. What this does is it creates what's called a put spread and it gives us more protection for dramatic downside in the market. We've got a lot of diversification to begin with um, and then our ability to just shift things around, including adjusting the call, the strikes on the calls and the puts in the option. Thank you, Jeff. Now, let us look into how to retain flexibility under this prevailing uncertain market environment. So, hi John, can you share with us how your team could respond to this risk appetite change? So our, our organizational configuration lends itself to uh, those investment teams all over the world. So we have a, a very informed perspective about fundamentals in all parts of our uh, investment opportunity set. When we think about the ways we manage risk, we can uh, manage uh, credit quality by moving up or down in quality. So we, we can own investment grade securities as well as high yield securities focused on driving that high level of income while taking the right amount of risk. We also invest in preferred securities, which are more junior in the capital structure, which also have a high level of income associated with them. So on the fixed income side, it's all about income. On the equity side, we also focus on fundamentals and fundamentals are very important to the underlying uh, equity profile that the teams invest in. Uh, we also have a culture of collaboration, which is really important in terms of driving the connectivity across uh, the broader investment team. So we can rely very heavily on our analysts and the resources that they bring to bear helping us uh, with our security selection process. As I said, we manage across the quality spectrum. We also manage up and down the capital structure, going from senior exposure in bonds, for example, all the way down to preferred securities. We have that global reach, which allows us to invest in both emerging markets and developed markets. And we can look at uh, country level, regional and global opportunities given the configuration that we have. I think the important factor is that we're, that we're active managers and the essence of an active manager is to have an informed view. So we have both a culture of collaboration where people really want to help each other get to the right answer. Uh, 